The dimly lit training room on the planet Avron was abuzz with tension, the air thick with the promise of violence. Darth Aemon, his dark hair slicked back, revealing a scar above his left eyebrow, sneered with confidence as he faced off against his rival, Darth Luton. The two Sith acolytes, their red lightsabers humming to life, circled each other like predators, their eyes locked in a silent challenge. Darth Caven, their grizzled mentor, watched with a calculating gaze, his presence commanding respect. His voice, like the crack of a whip, cut through the silence. Begin! The duel erupted, the clash of lightsabers echoing through the room like the ring of steel on steel. Darth Aemon unleashed a flurry of powerful strikes, seeking to crush his opponent beneath his heel. But Darth Luton was no pushover. His silver hair braided into a warrior's plate, framed a face set in a fierce determination. He parried each blow with precision, his footwork swift and deadly. The fight raged on, the two Sith acolytes exchanging blows in a dance of death. Darth Caven's voice cut through the din, his critiques laced with a hint of malice. Aemon, your rage will be your downfall. Luton, your cunning will be your salvation. In a flash of insight, Darth Luton seized the advantage. Summoning the dark power of the Force, he unleashed a bolt of lightning that struck Darth Aemon with the force of a thunderclap. The younger Sith stumbled back, his lightsaber faltering as Darth Luton pressed his advantage. The room fell silent the only sound the heavy breathing of the combatants. Darth Aemon's eyes blazed with fury, but Darth Luton's gaze remained cold, his focus unbroken. Well done, Luton, Darth Kevin said, his voice like the crack of a whip. Aemon, your pride will be your undoing. Learn from your mistakes lest you suffer the consequences. As the two acolytes stood panting, their lightsabers dimming, the tension in the room began to dissipate. Darth Luton offered a nod of respect to his opponent, while Darth Aemon's gaze burned with a promise. Darth Caven stood in the dimly lit training room, his eyes fixed on the young Sith acolytes sparring in the distance. The sound of clashing sabers and heavy breathing filled the air, punctuated by the occasional shout of encouragement or criticism from the instructors. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the shadows, its presence commanding attention. Darth Illagor, a towering figure in black armor approached Kevin with a purposeful stride. Kevin, Illigor said, his voice low. Ruby needs to see you. Now. Kevin's gaze narrowed. What's this about? Illigor's helmet tilted slightly as if nodding. The relic you found, the first piece. She wants to discuss it with you, in her office. Kevin's interest peaked. He nodded curtly. Very well. Lead the way. Illigor turned and strode across the compound, Caven following closely behind. They navigated through winding corridors and dark chambers, the air thick with the scent of smoke and ozone. Finally, they arrived at Ruebi's office, a heavily fortified door with a sign bearing the emblem of the ex-Mandalorian's clan. Illigor rapped twice on the door, and a voice from within bade them enter. Ruby, a grizzled and seasoned warrior, looked up from her desk as they entered. Her eyes, a piercing blue, locked onto Kevin. Kevin, thank you for coming. We have much to discuss. Kevin's gaze swept the room, taking in the array of relics and artifacts on display. I sense that this is about more than just the relic I found. Rebby's expression turned. Much more, Kevin. The fate of your order hangs in the balance, and you, my friend, may be the key to unlocking it. There's one more thing I must tell you, Kevin, Ruby said, her voice low and serious. We are being hunted. Kevin's gaze snapped back to hers, his eyes widening in shock. What? By whom? Ruby took a deep breath before answering. Fallstar and your son. Kevin's expression turned ashen as flashes of intense memories flooded his mind. The sack of the Jedi Temple, the screams of the innocent, the feel of his lightsaber slicing through the air. The visions were so vivid that he felt himself breaking out in a cold sweat. Without a word, Caven turned and walked away, leaving Ruebi and Ilagor to exchange a worried glance. The darkness of his past had come back to haunt him, and it seemed that his son was now a part of it. As the ship emerged from hyperspace above the planet of Alderaan, Tiber's anxiety grew as his thoughts lingered on the family he had left behind many years ago.
when he made the difficult decision to pursue his calling as a Jedi Knight. The nostalgia washed over him like a wave, carrying with it memories of his childhood, his parents' proud smiles, and the warmth of his home planet, all of which he had sacrificed in order to follow his destiny as a guardian of peace and justice in the galaxy. The ship landed gracefully on the planet's surface, and shortly thereafter, our heroes disembarked, stepping off the boarding ramp onto the foreign soil. As they emerged from the ship's shadow, the harsh sunlight and unfamiliar landscape enveloped them. As the heroes make their way through the city, they notice that it is relatively peaceful, aside from a few bars, with the majority of the citizens going about their daily lives without any major disruptions or conflicts. Take in the sights. This is the last planet of this will be the case. The outer rim is laced with crime and unpleasantness, Falstar exclaimed. As Tiber walked down the steel-covered streets, he would point out buildings to the rest of the group. As they approached the cantina at the far end of the valley, they saw a wiry man being dragged outside the door and being shoved on the street. Oi! I don't need this from you! I don't need this from anybody! You can keep your fucking cantina! I think I know that guy, chimed Tiber. Here's what I think of you snub-nosed womprats, haha. Yup, he's pissing in the street. Vulcan. Oi, what do you dung beetles want? You want to have a crack at me? Well, let's go. Hey, I know you. Tiber? The two reunited in a familiar embrace. You a Jedi now? I thought you got chewed up by chemo. Tiber laughs. Hey, this is fantastic. You can help me with some trouble I'm having. A couple of the Trandoshans in that cantina over there. I think I owe them some money. We don't have time for this. Hey, I know you too, spat Vulcan. Master Sonj, what brings an esteemed Jedi like yourself to this humble corner of the galaxy? Ah, Vulcan, always quick with the wit. But this time it's not about philosophical debates or diplomatic missions. My ship, the Luminous Blade, needs that motivator to get back to Republic space. We've got a situation brewing in the Outer Rim. The Outer Rim, huh? Sounds like a real mess. But we've got connections, Master Sonj. I can get you that part. For a price. What's it worth to you? I'm not looking to indulge in your usual smuggling games, Vulcan. This is a matter of Republic security. I need that part. And I need it now. Can you deliver? Or do I need to find someone more reliable? Oh, I can deliver, Master Sonj. I've got a reputation for getting things done, even in the High Republic. But don't think you're getting it for free. Fine, Vulcan, but make it quick. The supplies are just at my shop on the outskirts of the valley just down the road.